Parents, welcome to How to Teach Kids to Diagram Sentences, Part 1. They are visual representations that show the relationships of the parts of sentences. This video focuses on how to teach kids three diagrams. One, subject, predicate, and direct object. Two, compound subject, predicate, and direct object. And three, subject, compound predicate, and direct object. Begin by introducing kids to diagramming sentences with the basic sentence pattern, subject, predicate, and direct object. The teaching sentence for this pattern is, Tommy really loves baseball. Begin by reviewing what a subject is with kids. A subject tells who or what, person, place, or thing, the sentence is about. Next, review what a predicate is. It tells what the subject is or does. It is a verb. Then the direct object. It tells who or what received the action. This sentence also has a modifier, a word that modifies another word. It modifies the predicate. Now have kids fill in the diagram for this sentence. Tommy is the subject. Loves is the predicate. And baseball is the direct object. The modifier is really, and it modifies the predicate loves. These are the steps that were followed to diagram the sentence, Tommy really loves baseball. Now have kids diagram the sentences for the subject, predicate, direct object pattern. Complete the first sentence with kids. The subject is rascal. The predicate is caught. The direct object is ball. And the modifier is the, modifying the word ball. Now have kids diagram sentence two and sentence three. Now have kids diagram sentences four five, and six. And this is a completed example. Now have kids determine if the underlying word is a subject, predicate, or direct object. Then have kids shade in the correct letter box. And this is the completed example. Now introduce kids to diagramming sentences with the sentence pattern subject plus subject plus predicate plus direct object, which also is called compound subject plus predicate plus direct object. Begin by reviewing the areas of the diagram with kids. This diagram differs from the first because it has a compound subject. Two subjects join together by a conjunction, the word and. Have kids write the compound subject and the conjunction. They would start by writing mom, lily, and then the conjunction and. Next, have kids fill in the predicate, walked. The direct object, dog. And the modifier, the. This is the subject plus subject or compound subject plus predicate and direct object 
diagramming steps that we just completed. Now have kids diagram the sentences, compound subject, predicate, and direct object. This is the first sentence, second sentence, and third sentence. This is the completed example. Now have kids diagram sentences four, five, and six. Sentence four, sentence five, and sentence six. And this is the completed example. Now have kids underline the compound subject and conjunction in each sentence. This is the completed example. Introduce kids to diagramming sentences with the sentence pattern subject, predicate, predicate, or compound, predicate, and direct object. Begin by reviewing the areas of the diagram with kids. This sentence pattern differs from the previous two because it has two predicates, a compound predicate that is joined by the conjunction AND. Now have kids fill in the diagram for this sentence. Subject is Sally. Next is the compound predicate receives and delivers. And the direct object, mail. This is a sequence of steps that we just finished. Now have kids diagram the sentences. Sentence one, two, three, and the completed example. Have kids diagram sentences four, five, and six. Sentence four, five, and six. And this is a completed example. Now have kids underline the compound predicate and conjunction in each sentence. And this is a completed example. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you. And as always, I will leave a link for the teaching templates in the description section.